All right, Shalom. First off, I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors, uh, double honors unto the apostles and elders uh, who rule well for Great Millstone. And uh, salutations, peace, and blessings to the Yakim out there pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity. Now, you know, we got a lot of signs going on nowadays um, with earthquakes happening from place to place. Uh, you know, that spoke about in Matthew, uh, signs in the moon, uh, UFO sightings, right? And these are all signs uh, of the times, right? Because we're living in some, some powerful times right now because Esau, uh, Edom, who is the so-called white man, is uh, his power structure is failing and falling. And uh, Jacob, <coughs> uh, Israel, Yashar Allah, who is the uh, so-called Negro, so-called Latino, and so-called uh, Native American and Seminole Indian, uh, their power structure and their, their uh, uh, kingdom is, is, is raising, right? So uh, with that, I'm gonna jump right into these scriptures. Uh, my first scripture is going to be 2 Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. Right? So we're supposed to be measuring the time diligently. Diligently means to be doing it um, vigorously. Um, uh, putting everything you got into it. Right? Constantly doing it. Being diligent. Right? And... Uh, you know, we're supposed to be doing that because the signs that he told us that were to come to pass are starting to come to pass, right? Uh, Salakia. Bear with me for a second. So diligent is from mid 14th century from old French diligent, uh, from Latin diligentem, attentive, uh, assiduous, right? So you know you're supposed to be attentive, constantly, uh, 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 you know, keeping your eyes out, out for the signs uh, of the coming of of, of our Lord Yahweh Shai who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ, right? Verse two, then shall thou understand that is, that is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? So that now you're starting to see all these, you know, UFO sightings. I looked it up last night, man. There's dang near one every month, at least, right? And people are starting to see these chariots, uh, these UFOs, which are actually the chariots of the, um, of the angels, and, uh, you know, the scripture said that Yahweh Shai left on a cloud and he's coming back the same way. Well, that cloud that he left on was what we would call ignorantly a UFO, right? Those are the chariots or the, uh, the way that the angels and the, uh, that, that Yahweh Shai travel, right? So, um, also, you know, you got, you, you've been having earthquakes every day, uh, 5.9, um, in Mexico today, uh, Fiji, off the coast of Fiji, the Virgin Islands. Um, where else did I see uh, the one I was looking it up? Oh, you know, you had the, the one in Taiwan, and that was only a 5.7, but you had one for 5.9 today in Mexico, right? So things are starting to happen, you know, and, and it's happening quickly. So let me get some, uh, into some more of these scriptures. All right, the second one's going to be Ephesians 5, 15, and 16. All right. And I'll, I'll start at uh, 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Yahweh Shai shall give thee light, right? So it's not talking about literal sleep, right? That's talking about those that are walking around as, the, as if they are asleep, right? 
The Most High will give us light, and that light is this truth of the word, right, in these holy scriptures. Because this is our comforter, right? You got Yahweh, and, and Yahweh Shai walking in a perfect image of his father. You got Yahweh Shai who led the example, and then they left us this book, you know, this spirit to, uh, um, for us to follow, right? And, uh, you know, if you, if you, if you're awake right now and you understand these scriptures, you know, that's a spiritual gift and don't take it for granted because it could be taken away. And, uh, you know, that, that'd be a terrible thing. Right. Reading on 15. See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise redeeming the time because the days are evil. Right. So we're supposed to be. We're supposed to be walking circumspectly. And when you look up that word in the etymology, the first part of that word is like circle, cir circum, circle, right? So to be um, in, a, in, a, in a 360, right? You know, you always hear that saying on a football field or, you know, uh, in, in a fight, keep your head on a swivel, right? And uh, spec, spec, circumspect, that last part, spec, is from spectate, right? So to look. Right, so you're supposed to be measuring the time diligently and looking for these signs that are to come. Right? But be not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeem means to buy back. Right? Just like uh, Yahweh Shah is coming to redeem the nation of Israel, Yashar Allah, right? Princes of power. He's coming to redeem them, he's coming to buy them back. He was a, we're, you know, he's the ransom. You know, he, he put himself as a ransom for us, which is a glorious thing. You know, Yahweh Shai is a, a beautiful uh, spirit and a, a beautiful man. And uh, the things that he did for, for the elect, the 144,000 men, 12,000 from each tribe of Israel, the things that he did for them is, is, is amazing. You know, I always, always stress the fact that he's making... Um, I, say, I should say we always stress, stress the fact at Great Millstone that, that he has made us joint heirs if we are part of that number with him. And he didn't have to do that. He was give, he was given this kingdom. All right. So we're going to jump to Isaiah 26, 19 and 21. All right. This is Isaiah uh, 26, 19. Thy dead men shall live. Together with the dead body shall they arise, awake and sing, right? And that's what's happening now. You see Jake's out there throughout the four corners of the earth awakening to the fact that they're Israel, that Yahweh is their power, and the way to get to that power is through Yahweh Shai. They're awaking to this fact, and they're starting to sing. And the song that we sing is this truth, this good news, the good news of, of the falling of this current system the uprising of our system to come, which shall be everlasting in the kingdom of heaven, right? And Yahweh Shai is coming back and utter ruling over this planet in all righteousness, right? That's good. That's the good news. That's the gospel. <clears throat> Ye that dwell in the dust for, uh, you know, and that dust is uh, ignorance or confusion. For thy dew is as the dew of herbs and the earth shall cast out the dead. Right, so two thirds of the nation of Israel about to be cast out. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers, and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment, until the indignation be overpassed. So in those last days, when those chariots are coming, and they're they're tearing this place up with their laser beams, and you also have the World War Three going on, and everybody turns their back on on America, the great whore. And uh, as the scriptures say, and shoot off their missiles, their ICBM uh, ballistic, uh, ballistic intercontinental uh, missiles to this place, and, and it, that's going to utterly destroy this place. So he, the, the chariots are going to come down and beam up the elect. And it says, come into me, my, uh, uh, let me read it again, Salakia. Come, my people, enter thou into the chambers, and those chambers are the chariots. And shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as if it were for a little moment until the indignation overpass. Right? We, get, you know, Mosai says that he gonna let us watch the destruction of this place. Right? For behold, 
Yahweh cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. Uh, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai cometh out of the uh, earth uh, his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth, Salakia, for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. <laughs> right? So, you know, that's, that's coming quickly. I'm going to get some two more quick scriptures and I'm going to get out of here. I'll try not to talk too much and just uh, let the scriptures speak for themselves and edify when necessary. All right, this is uh, Daniel 12 and 2. And many of them that sleep in the dust, again, who are uh, spiritually sleeping in, in confusion, of the earth shall awake, right? And that's happening right now. You know, the 144 uh, elect are being, 144,000 elect men are being sealed, you know, as we speak. To everlasting life, which is the kingdom of heaven, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, right? And two-thirds of the nation of Israel isn't going to make it. So that those that are uh, uh, going to have everlasting shame and contempt. Now, that everlasting means for, you know, eons or, or a time, a, a long time. Right, so the two thirds of the nation of Israel in the kingdom are going to be shamefaced to the elect because they should have got right as well. All right, last scripture I got is going to be Zechariah 13 and 8. And it shall be, uh, no, that's not it. And it shall come to pass that in the land, saith Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. But the third shall be left therein, right? Just what I was speaking about. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried, right? Aren't, aren't the uh, uh, elect men of Israel being tried daily, going through the spiritual fire? You know, we'd rather go, if we are part of that number, we'd rather go through spiritual fire than have to taste one of those missiles. Uh, they shall call my name and I will hear them, right? And I was talking to these damn coon, this damn coon at Walmart not too long ago. He tried to get me to go to church with him. And I told him, man, you don't even know the name of the Lord. And he said, nobody knows the name of the Lord. Well, how's this scripture going to happen then? How are we going to call on his name? And I will hear them. Yahweh is going to hear, Yahweh is going to hear us. I will say, it is my people. And they shall say, Yahweh is my power or my God, right? So with that, I'm going to wrap it up. Hopefully this was edifying. And, uh, you know, Shalom, peace and blessings to the elect. Uh, bracket the Yahweh, bracket the Yahweh Shai. And uh, double honors unto the apostles, uh, apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom.